Hi there everyone, I'm Jane and this is Lupin Mabel's Closet. Today's vlog is the free t-shirt series that I've been doing and today I'm showing you three of the free long sleeve tees. Hi, welcome back. So if you just found my channel and you like to follow along with my sewing journey because it really is a journey, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll never miss any of my vlogs that I bring out. So yeah, so today's vlog, as promised, I said I would have a go at making some of the free long sleeve tees in my vlog I did where I found 10, which is a list that I just found free patterns that you can download for the long sleeve t-shirt but that list is not exhaustive there's probably lots lots more on the internet you can find and if you can think of any that I have missed off that list please message me and I will add it to the list so there's more for everybody to share great we like a freebie don't we I certainly do and I really do like these three I chose so let's start off with should we start off with what I'm wearing this is my favorite I think it's my favorite because it's the fabric but I also like the style. This is the Tasuti Mandy Boat Tee and I've used a beautiful fabric from Material Girl Laura. I was saving this fabric for something else but I didn't have any more jersey fabric to make this and I just thought well, I'm gonna to have to cut into it and I was fingers crossed when I was cutting into it thinking I hope I like the style, I hope I like it, I hope it fits me because obviously it's a free pattern which is good but I was thinking, oh, you know, I hope it's not going to be like sidekicked to my pyjama drawer type of thing. And because it's beautiful fabric, but um, I'm totally in love. Absolutely love it. I shall pop some pictures up of me wearing them all in the garden. And obviously I'm going to put all the links to where I got the fabrics from in the description box. And obviously I'll also add the fr these three patterns again in the, in the description box. Saves you looking elsewhere. Uh, but as I say, this is the Tasuti Fabrics Mandy Boat Tee. And I'll tell you why I love it, apart from the fabric, because the fabric is just dreamy, the most softest, drapiest jersey fabric. It's just absolutely beautiful and I really like the colours. And I'm not normally, I, wouldn't, I don't think it's animal print as such, but it's got a touch of animal print to it. And I'm not an animal print lover, it's not me. But when I ordered this fabric from Material Girl Laura, I just thought, oh, let's just, just go a little bit outside the box. You know, try not to uh, always order floral because I really, really do like floral. If you follow me, you know, you probably say, oh, Jane, not more floral, but I really do like floral. So I thought, you know, just step outside the box and try something different and see if you like it. Well, I love it. Absolutely love it. And I think it's one of my colours. It's like the terracotta rust colour, which is one of my colours in my colour wheel. I think I'm deep autumn and it's just, I just love it. Really do love it. I'm going to stand up and show you this one. Now it's, it's like a boxy top, really boxy. But because the sleeves are lovely and fitted, it just makes it something a little bit different. And these have got obviously a proper drop sleeve. I like, if you're gonna have a drop sleeve, I like a proper drop sleeve. Um, because if it's higher up drop sleeve, I think it's got the tendency to make it look like you need a shoulder adjustment. It doesn't fit you properly. Whereas this is a proper, proper down your arm drop sleeve, which, you know I like that style and I just love the fact that the sleeves are really lovely and fitted but it's lovely and boxy so it's not like if the sleeves weren't fitted I think it probably make you look like a sack of potatoes basically but I think it just definitely does something about it and obviously it's got the boat neck and it's a really nice boat neck it's not a great big massive boat neck I was was a bit unsure thinking I hope it's not going to be one of these massive ones that hang on the edge of you right on the edge of your shoulders and you're always having to hitch them up or you show your bra straps or what have you but it's a really really nice boat neck width i really like it and i just ah oh, i love it absolutely love it i know the fabric is beautiful and, and you know it all goes on fabrics but even if i made this in a plane i just think i'm gonna love it this so this is gonna be one of my go-to t long sleeve t-shirts that 
a little bit different than you know the, the average fitted long sleeve tees that I wear a lot of. I've got hundreds of every colour from Primark and they're all getting really tired and sad because they've been well worn because I wear them to layer. I wear them through the summer because I'm always cold. So I am in time going to replace them all with probably the Freya type of fitted long sleeve tee. But this is just something like a little bit different. It's not a layering piece, I wouldn't say, because it's, oops, sorry, Mabel, because it's got this extra fabric here. But, oh my God, really, 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 for a free pattern, it's just the bomb. I love it. Really do. Did I just say the bomb? Oh my God. How is Sophie would be going, oh, ma'am. You don't say that anymore. But anyway, I really do like it. So I'll just turn around and show you the back. So it's a really good length, really good length. So it's way lower hip, lower, way past my behind, just on the yeah. And just just a little bit, absolutely love it. So this is the Mandy Boat tee. And I'll show you this, the sleeves. And I, I was... And it's also got the two sleeve length options so you can go for this length sleeve or you can go for the like a three quarter length sleeve and I'll show you the PDF pattern that I printed out so this is the long sleeve and you cut them both they're both exactly the same you cut it on the fold and as you can see you can tell it's going to be a, more of a fitted sleeve because it's quite a narrow narrow shape to obviously so you've got to cut it on the fold and then you've also got the option for the shorter sleeve length and you can shorten and lengthen them as well each one as well so you could even make them shorter uh, but I went for that this length because I just think I'd get more wear off this length and it really it's really simple make i had this made in no time at all uh you have like obviously because it's a boat neck you have like a little bit of i'll show you show you on the i think that's the back no it's the front so front and back are very very similar so you have this little bit of facing so when you cut it out you fold the facing over and then you just top stitch or twin needle the facing down and that's your neck done. So the shoulder seams together and then you attach the sleeves and then you stitch it all. Hem, hem and hem and you're done. Really simple. And uh, I will definitely be making some more of these. And it's a brilliant, it's brilliant because it's a free pattern. I love it. Really do like it. And I've seen lots of people mention the Mandy Boat tea and I've seen it on, you know, on social media. And I never really looked twice at it. But yeah, if you've never had a go and you just want something that a little bit different, just something different to it, then definitely have a go at this. Really, really lovely. And of course, I just love this fabric. Beautiful fabric. So moving on to the second one I chose, which is this one on Mabel. Now, with the next two, I obviously was using up my jersey scraps. I didn't want to really... I didn't want to really buy any more jersey fabrics and I had quite a lot of plain left over but not enough to do the full thing. So I just thought, well, I'll just use up the fabrics that I've got and this will be, you know, well worn with my jeans, providing it turned out all right. And I just thought well, it looks okay. And I just thought I'll just use the two colours and I really like it. So this is um, the plantain t-shirt by Deer and Door. And for the Mandy Boat tea, sorry, I didn't say I did size two. So this is size two, which was um, medium, size medium. And really spot spot on with the sizing. So this one here is on, on Mabel is the Plantin T-shirt. And I'll show you the picture. Now, when I saw the picture, I just thought it was quite um, an airline, you know, more airline and a little bit more of a dress shape to it, if you know what I mean. T-shirt dress shape here because you've got looks like you've got, you've got they've drawn in like folds but it's it's nothing like that at all it's um just a straight down little bit of shaping t-shirt now i raised the neckline because if you look again it's quite a deep neckline and i didn't want a bare neck because i wanted to be able to wear it in the colder months so i raised the neckline by eight centimeters 
and I just literally um, got my ruler raised put some paper behind I show you if you've not had a go at just adjusting doing little adjustments on your patterns definitely have a go because it's not as scary as you might think now I've done it a few times I'm like thinking well just because the pattern's there and it's it, you know that it tells you it's a lower neck it doesn't have to be that lower neck you can change it definitely have a go so there is the original so there's the original pattern piece there and there you can see how low the neck was. So I just put some paper behind and then from that point I just measured eight centimetres up to there and then obviously got my French curve and just joined it back up to the original line. I didn't want to change the shoulder, um, the shoulders at all so I just brought it back in and gradually gradually brought it back in so it met so I didn't change anything to the shoulders well, if you are going to be doing a little tip there if you, if you are going to be doing any adjustments to your neckline and you're working on the fold always come in on a straight 90 degree angle for about five a centimeter because if you don't if you start your curve right at the beginning and bring your curve when you open it up you'll have a little v and you don't want that so you come out for about a centimeter on a straight line and then you bring your shaping up so when you open it out you've got that lovely you've got that lovely uh, neck shaping there and i did size let me just find the sizes yeah i did size 42 so there's quite a few sizes go some size bus size 34 up to 52 and I did size 42 bust measurements were 37 and three quarters now I'm 38 bust but the finished garment measurement was 36 and three quarters and I wanted something that was a little bit more fitted uh, I didn't want another sloppy jaw type of t-shirt so that's why I went for that size and it fits absolutely great it just fits lovely it's not too big or sloppy and because I, I didn't want that so yeah, I went for size 42. And then you've got options as well. You've got short sleeve and a long sleeve option. Obviously I'll put some pictures up of me wearing it. Really like it. And obviously I use this contrasting like biscuit color, like, well, like a stony color. And I just brought it in also in the neckband. Now it, on the, I, on the, picture there you can see there's like little elbow elbow pads elbow patches and I thought oh yeah that could be quite quaint so I cut out some elbow patches in this colour and I thought that might be nice to contrast in and I've still got the um the mark of my pen I haven't ironed it off yet where the patches go but I stitched them on and they just looked naff didn't look good at all so I just unpicked the patches and took them off so I've left the patches off but as a long sleeve t-shirt free pattern again really good pattern it's probably not going to be one that I would go to to make lots more of because I think I prefer the Freya fit and so it looks a little bit like a baseball t-shirt because I've used the two colours which is ideal to wear you know when you want a casual day for when I'm doing the laundry or often maybe potter about in the garden just a nice casual look to wear with my jeans it's not a t-shirt that I would go out in I uh, wouldn't go out shopping in it or go out for coffee not that I can go out for coffee yet almost hopefully fingers crossed we can go out soon um, but yeah it's it's great all-round t-shirt but as I say I probably won't go to it as much as I'm going to go to this one so that is the deer and door plantain tea but i mean considering the free you can't complain and it's that's really really generous of anybody that to provide free patterns you know so um you can't knock any of them so moving on to tilly and the buttons this is the frankie tea and this is a really as always with tilly and the buttons her patterns are really really lovely to sew and straightforward except I had a bit of a nightmare sewing up my first raglan sleeve the raglan sleeve there because it's got a little bit of shaping up here and I thought and that just put me off a little bit so I ended up not putting the sleeve at the right point on the front bodice 
but I'd overlocked it and when I put it on Mabel it I, you could see straight away that I hadn't done it right so I had to unpick my overlock and then I had to remove the bit that I hadn't done right but then when I had to stitch it again I had to stitch it over where the overlock was I couldn't overlock and take any more off because I would have took more off and I thought oh I've made a mess of this but luckily I managed to overlock back on the original stitching but I managed to move it up slightly I just don't know what I did wrong there like a bull in a china shop sometimes I am but apart from that and I really like those these two colors together and it's got a lovely curved hem to it and it goes down a little bit the back and I don't think I did any modification no I didn't do any modification to this and I did size four and it fits like a dream I almost did size five and I thought no please don't make anything that's going to look sloppy again I just don't want any more sloppy t-shirts I've got plenty of t-shirts sloppy t-shirts I didn't want any more I wanted a fairly fitted look t-shirt so I'm glad I went did the size four and it fits just just really nice and again pop some pictures up of me wearing it with my jeans and again this is going to be another great top to wear around the house the casual casual look around the house or if you do nip to nip to the corner shop type of thing this is really what I was looking for so I've got three lovely long sleeve tees now in my wardrobe now I'll make the Frankie tee again because it's a really nice fit and I quite like the raglan sleeve on it and I quite like the two tone fabrics because it just makes it look like a little bit like a casual baseball tee and I really like the fit on it as well and I really do love this the Mandy boat tee so this is going to be one I'm going to go to for a long sleeve t-shirt just with that something a little bit different even though it's just a plain boxy t-shirt there's something a little different about it I think it's because the sleeves are lovely fitted sleeves rather than being a loose sleeve you know like a looser sleeve I think that's what it is and I just I just really I've just you know when you put something on and you, you go yes this is one of those things but for all these three I would I wouldn't say don't try them all really good all got really good instructions obviously the Tilly and the Buttons one you, obviously you get the free pattern download from the Sew magazine but there's no instructions with that the instructions come in the stretch book and I've got the stretch book but I mean you don't really need instructions when you it's the same as a t-shirt you've got two sleeves a front and a back and your neckband and you know it's not there's not, not rocket science really I suppose uh, going back to the plantain tee before I forget obviously because I raised the neck by eight centimeters my neckband to go on the original pattern obviously was too long so I had to measure my new um, neck circumference and then I did the 85% calculation to give me my lovely length for my neckband. And every time I've done that calculation, it's just been absolutely spot on. Somebody was asking me, what did I mean by the calculation? It's, you can, I mean, you can Google it, it's on the internet, but when you're sewing with stretch jerseys and you're coming to do your neckbands, yeah, so for example, you would take, like say for example, for my plantain t-shirt, obviously I'd raised the neckline, so the neckline was obviously a different uh, circumference. So I measured it and it came to, I think it was 53 centimetres. And then all I did was times 53 centimetres times 0.85, which give me 40, I think it's 45 centimetres, something like that. And that's how long you cut your neckband to. And it just gives you that enough stretch for a perfect neckband that sits lovely and flat. That's if you are obviously changing the necklines and you need to calculate your new neckband. But obviously you just follow the pattern if you're just sticking with the pattern. So there are the three free patterns that I've chose off the 10. And I really do like them. I like them all. This is my favourite. I think this one by Tasuti, the Mandy Boat Tea. And then I would say second is the Frankie T by Tilling the Buttons, purely because I just think they fit really nice, really nice fit. I mean, that one fits really nice too, but this has just got something a little bit more to it. And obviously this has got the raglan sleeves, which is something nice for a change. And obviously this has just got the normal fitted, fitted in sleeves. 
So yeah, so if you haven't tried any of those free patterns, definitely worth having a go. Let me know if you've tried some of them of the list that I haven't mentioned. What did you think? I've got lots of leftover jersey that isn't enough to make anything, but hopefully I might be able to squeeze some vests or tanks if you're in the US some vests out and I will do uh, go down the list of the free the 10 free vests that I did the vlog and see if I can squeeze a few out and show you which ones are made with that so that will all get used up as well and if you've just noticed here my little box my little gusset box these are all scraps of fabrics there's not enough to do anything with but there's enough to make gussets and some of them scraps are enough to make probably get a pair of pants knickers out of these I mean they probably won't all get used for gussets for example there's a bit left over I could get a gusset out of that if I was so inclined to have a purple gusset but anyway that's my gusset box and I'm just going to put this one on the mannequin so you can see as well so I'll just pop it on the mannequin just to give you an idea of what it looks like on Mabel there we go so there we go on Mabel and can you see it's just got that lovely raglan sleeve which I think is really nice and obviously because I've done it in the two colours it has that baseball look and I really do like that one. I've never done raglan sleeve, never had a raglan sleeve t-shirt before so it's quite nice to have in my wardrobe that one and I do think I will be making a few more of these and I'll turn Mabel around so you can see the back so it's got a lovely curved hem so it can be worn out over your trousers or over some shorts obviously or you can tuck it in nice really nice length and and it's got the slight curve to the front I'll just show you the side how it goes down a bit at the side you know if you're sitting there watching me and you think oh I really must have a go seriously if you want to have a go with jersey start off with some t-shirts or the long sleeve because obviously the long sleeve is no different to a t-shirt it's just that the sleeves are longer in the majority and just have a go it's really as simple all you've got is a front and a back you've got your two sleeves and your neck band and if you just follow in say for example tilly in the buttons you can't fall off you don't need a uh, overlocker you can do everything on a normal sewing machine you just need to set your stitch to the zigzag or the lightning stitch you, you need a stretch stitch obviously so as you pull the garments on the, stri the stitches stretch with you so they don't pop and that's the only thing if you haven't got an all overlocker you can make them and are really simple L literally it's really simple the beauty about this pattern is if i've got leftovers not enough to make the full kit and caboodle at least with this because of the raglan style i can use two fabrics which i really like so i'll be able to use up all my fabrics and to show you this pile that i've got these are all my leftovers so there's enough in there for me to get some vests or tanks out of so I should be making some with this fabrics and I'll pick three out of the 10 free vest vlog that I did and do another vlog and show you what I think of those ones that I make. So over all in all three lovely free patterns because we like a freebie don't we I like them all there's not one I wouldn't say don't have a go at because they're all really nice simple to make and obviously it depends what style you're after if you want just a plain a plain long sleeve tee then planting one is absolutely fine if you want like something with that has got the raglan sleeve then Tilly and the Buttons Frankie is really good and then if you want something with a little bit something different to it even though it's just a square boxy style I think it's the sleeves that do it for me and the lovely boat neck as well so this is the Mandy Board tee so three different styles all really good depends what you're looking for so until the next vlog thanks for watching me please don't forget to leave any comments in the box below i love to read your comments and until the next time thanks for joining me and have a go at doing some t-shirts and i shall see you on my next vlog bye for now